Family Day at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. The first time relatives have seen their loved ones since they've been transformed into soldiers. The crowd goes wild. is a soldier factory. Around half the country's troops are trained here. Literally hundreds pass out every week. 45,000 come through here each year. But despite the huge numbers, recently the US military has had something of a recruitment crisis. The worst recruitment crisis, in fact, since it binned conscription 50 years ago. Last year, it only managed to enlist 75% of the soldiers it needed. But the problem isn't a shortage of applicants. The problem is a shortage of applicants able to pass the entry tests. And for many, that was on account of their weight. So in an attempt to resolve recruiting issues and at the same time help young Americans achieve their dreams, the US Army started an experiment. They created the Future Soldier Preparatory Course with two strands, one helping those who failed academically and the other helping with weight loss, which some have affectionately dubbed Army Fat Camp. I've always struggled with my weight. Alexia was desperate to join the army, but at five feet tall and weighing 113 kilograms at the time, she was nowhere near the maximum percentage body fat required. Then she came here. I really appreciate the drill sergeants like pushing me and then also like just being there, like having that support, because that, that's what really gets me, I'm sorry. Yeah, so like them, like, because you don't, it's hard when you don't have the support. So then like coming here and having that, it was really nice for me. Um, like my parents do support me, but it's not the same way. Like they also struggled with weight, so it's like they couldn't really help me. So it's like having people that can help you and are pushing you, like that was really nice for me. And if it wasn't for this, I probably wouldn't be here right now. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to. I was trying so hard. I was trying so hard not to cry. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. I was more than fine coming here because I knew there were very uh, trained professionals that would help me out properly losing weight. This is my th third week, uh, 17 days. It's going very well. Um, I should be taping out next week due to just what I've been um, losing weight by. I've lost probably about 25 pounds already and four inches on my waist. And it shows in my clothes. Like my clothes are a lot like, like right now, like I look like kind of skinny. When I got here, I was a little rounder. <laughs> so now I'm a little flatter, <laughs> which I appreciate. Um, little by little, I feel more fit and I can do things a little bit more athletic. So it makes me feel good. I'm like, yeah, I'm, you know, sporty, I'm athletic. Try to do three sessions a day. Um, more so circuits through, through the day. Um, keeping them moving. We're gonna do one heavy, one moderate, or one light. Keep moving, keep moving. It's supposed to hurt. Every single drill sergeant is gonna handle stuff in a different manner. Um, my way of motivating them is really just going along with them, doing exercises with them, or um, pulling them to the side, having a little chat with them, um, and making sure that they, they have their focus on their goal, which their goal is to get out of the uh, Future Soldier uh, program and get over to BCT. Yeah. It's supposed to burn. That's a good thing. They were like, just don't give up on yourself. As long as you don't give up on yourself, we won't give up on you. You give us 100%, we'll give you 200%. Having somebody like constantly like motivating you, letting you know like you got this, we got your back, like it's been really nice. Just try to stand as tall as you can. Fort Jackson was instructed to set up the pilot in July last year. In the first six months, it had been so successful they had created a second battalion, and the Army has now launched another course in Georgia. It was Lieutenant Colonel Hayes and his team who were tasked with creating the first oh, it, one. It, it's been incredibly successful. Overwhelmingly so, I think, at times. It was intimidating. I think part of it was because it was way outside a lot of our comfort zone uh, going in. Um, and there was a mindset change and a discipline learning environment evolution that we had to go through here. Um, and turning you know, a 200 person organization on a dime in a couple weeks to, to make that change is a challenge. It was more of an education piece on our part, realizing that nutrition and good sleeping habits are a bigger impact, or impact on someone losing body fat in a healthy way. 
Um, I would also say it made uh, us all take an honest look at ourselves and invest more in each one of us to be better uh, as we're now the role models for the people we're trying to help. Exercise alone won't shed the pounds. This is a holistic program incorporating mental and spiritual aspects, sleep and nutrition. Right now we're going to go inside the dining facility and see defect operations. The required body fat percentage ranges between 18 and 26 percent for men and 26 and 34 percent for women, dependent on height. As you can see on the defect operations, you have uh, the food labeled in a green, amber, red status. Green being the healthiest and red being towards the left in your not so healthy options. Per Army Regulation 350-6, we cannot uh, tell, a train, tell a student that they are not allowed to eat anything on the hotline. However, with proper mentorship and education, they're making those wise decisions um, and able to make those choices on their own. And the idea is to have a well-balanced meal that incorporates all those leafy greens and colorful vegetables. Letting students make their own decisions is key. Short-term weight loss just won't work. The US Army audits weight throughout a soldier's career and registering too heavy twice in one year can be grounds for permanent discharge. Uh, our fruit, nuts, sunflower seeds, just the best things for them. But try to keep the soldiers healthy and happy at all times. Nutrition is one of the main domains that we go after. Nutrition is what's going to help the systemic problem and helping them lose that body fat. So the physical training is going to come second, uh, and the, but where we get our most bang for our buck is really the nutrition aspect of the Future Soldier Prep Course. Reword. Translate or rephrase, yes. In one of the many classrooms on site, students on the academic version of the course are hard at work. Their goal is to pass the Armed Forces Qualification Test. As soon as they do, they can head straight off to begin basic training. For those on the fitness stream, the objective is to come within 6% of the Army's required body fat for their height. In both cases, they have around 90 days in which to do it. I think it's an amazing opportunity to, to meet the youth of America halfway, um, us investing in them. I mean, I, I would argue those that don't make it through either the academic or the fitness track are going back to society better um, because we're investing in them in life skills and, and getting them to understand how to better take care of themselves and, and invest in themselves um, and help them probably build a little confidence along the way. So I, I was really excited because I knew at the end of the day I was actually going to get to make the difference in a lot of people's lives. I mean, we change lives every day here. Today, four students who'd initially failed to get into the Army are graduating. Thank you. I miss you. It was just, oh, I was too busy crying. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the sensitive one in the family, so I was too busy. I'm still crying. <laughs> Very proud of them. Among them is William. He didn't get in on account of his weight. Uh, I'm one of the brothers that didn't get the good metabolism from my parents. The drill sergeants there, they helped motivate us and get us get us past. How do they do that? How do they motivate you? They yell. <laughs> yeah, uh, they do what drill sergeants do best. All right, get ready! Go! Keep working, keep working. Most of the U.S. has been more overweight in most recent years, and it's just, it's, it's a fact. I'm, I'm one of them. Um, and just having that program allows, you know, issues to be solved. Um, it allows the military to get more members, because I know they're struggling at the moment. Um, it just, it helps. It, it solves a lot of problems. To date, only 3% of those starting the course have failed to make it. Almost 6,000 new soldiers who'd originally failed to get in the Army have already graduated. Hannah King, Forces News in South Carolina. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.